can you just start with an opening statement about the game tonight? Well, you know, you got to give credit to Murray State. I, I'm obviously frustrated, I think, as our, as our team is. Um, you know, we thought we had some opportunities um, to take advantage of things and win this game. I, I think I don't have stats with me, but if I, if I looked at them, I'm sure there's two areas that probably stand out pretty blatant to me. And it, and it was um, our turnovers, especially, especially in the first two quarters. We weren't giving ourselves opportunities to score as much. And then, and then the rebounds, which, you know, he's got the rebounds down for me. Kidding, kidding. You know. were, were the turnovers more self-inflicted? Absolutely. Absolutely. There were so many openings for us to take advantage of, and I, I don't know if we got excited, we got rushed, we saw someone open, and, and then they were, you know, they were cheating off the backside and double teaming in the post, and we weren't, we weren't pass faking. We weren't, you know, it's just some of those basic offensive fundamentals that we could have done a better job with. It wasn't for the lack of wanting to do it. I just think we got overly excited and needed to calm down a little bit on the offensive end. I thought we could have taken care of some of those turnovers. James was able to do some things in the first quarter for him, but it, it seemed like it was the second quarter when you were able to keep it out of her hands, but they were able to get the lead there. Were, were, were they just getting other players involved? Well, I, I thought what they were doing is doing a great job with some penetration, and we were rotating up instead of over. And just and then when we went to sink, we had to sink in on top of that opposite post player, and we were late quite a few times with our sink. It all started from dribble penetration. Did they get too many? Uh, when you talk about the rebounds, just second and third opportunities on Second and third opportunities, and those are such backbreakers with momentum. You know, you feel like you put together a good defensive stance, but what happened was, is as they were driving it or when they were taking their shots, I didn't think we pushed back on our rebounds. And I thought we just kind of went in for the rebound. Well, then it's like a jump ball. You know, whoever's going to get up and tip it and whoever's going to get it the best. And, and I thought that obviously advantage went to them on that. We, we need to do a better job with our fundamentals of blocking out. Disappointing not to get an opportunity there at the end. I mean, you get the missed free throws and get the missed free throws. Had an opportunity to you know advance it and get the ball out of bounds and and, and got called for a foul. But um, you know we we had some opportunities there late. We probably didn't take advantage of every single one like we could have. I thought there was a couple times we could have driven it harder when we had more time on the clock. I don't again I don't have the exact stat with it in time, but but um, you know I, I thought it was a good battle. We were shorthanded with some things. You know we just. Um, you know, Lauren just uh, found out that she she broke her finger, and, and, and it's uh, she's got it wrapped up. It kind of limits her a little bit. So we had to make some adjustments in, in, in the last five, six hours. And, and, you know, this team's still a really good team, and this team will bounce back. I think the the biggest piece right now is what are we going to do about this? You know, any time in life, athletics, you know, we felt like this was one we really needed to get. We didn't get it. So what are we going to do about it? And, and I've got a ton of confidence in those kids in that locker room. It, we're not going to feel sorry for ourselves. We're going we're gonna to get back to work and, and go after it. I asked Sharonda if there was any maybe carryover from the UT Martin game. Did you see any of that, or did you feel like they were able to park it? No, I really felt like they parked it. You know, we, um, we had a great film session. I thought it was a great film session after that game. I'm not sure if the players felt it was, but I think they did. And we learned a lot of things. And then we came out on the court right after a film session and probably had one of the most spirited practices that we've had in a while. Um, I, you know, again, I think this team has great desire to be successful. And, and we might have stubbed our toe tonight, but we'll be back. Nice yeah. accomplishment for Butts to get It's to a great accomplishment. Things. I mean, I, you know, I think it's, it's easy to watch a player like Sharonda and realize how special of a player she is. And, and I think what's, what's been really nice for me is, you know, obviously to coach her for so long and know her through high school and really see how she's matured as a player as well. I mean, there's just some huge steps she's taken. She's always been a great offensive player, but how she really involves everybody else and just her level of competing is, is something that's fun to watch. Um, yeah, I know she's probably disappointed that, you know, to, to get that milestone and a loss, but is that just a testament to the hard work and her dedication she has to this program? It is. I think, you know, one of the, one of the biggest pieces that Sharonda did was this past summer, she really rededicated herself to train and got herself in much better shape. And she wouldn't be able to play the minutes that she's playing for us and do the things that she's doing right now without that summer work. So, you know, I just think it's, it's a testament. Anytime someone hits a milestone like this, it's not just what you see on game nights. It's when, the, when everyone's gone home or it's early in the morning and kids getting in the gym and, you know, to quote another coach, maybe to get their seats in the gym and start shooting. 
back with a nice game for you offensively too. Is she capable of nights like these on a, on a regular? I basis? think she is. I mean, she's been really playing. I think she's been playing very well the past couple couple games and and just taking it to the basket hard, hitting her nice outside shot well. You know, 15, 15, 16 foot shot. And I think she's she's growing as a player too. I think you know this team. Even though I, I do think we stubbed our toes tonight, I think you see little bits and pieces. And I've said this before. I don't think we're playing our best basketball yet, and quite frankly, I think that's a good thing because that means we've still got steps to take. What do you feel like you need to clean up more than anything? Well, offensive execution. Um, you know, we've got a lot of different players that can score. I think we've shown that, and we've done a good job with it. We're probably not as patient on the offensive end as we can be, and I think what you see with that is some of our turnovers. We cut those turnovers down. We're scoring a lot more points, and some of our turnovers are leading right into offensive transition for our opponents. And I think just maintaining our focus when we get a little bit fatigued. I think that's a challenge for, for all players at every level is when, when you get a little bit fatigued, do you think about that or do you think about what, what execution I need to do? And I think those, those are probably two areas along with maybe rebounding a little bit better. Unique game next week against Austin Peay, 1130 start with all the great schools in here. What kind of atmosphere can that be and just Kind of trying to keep your team focused with that going on. I think it's going to be a crazy atmosphere. Um, I know our marketing department has done a tremendous job. I, I expect this place to be packed. I expect it to be loud. I want our regular fans to come. They might need earplugs, but I want them to come. But, um, you know, and, and senior night, really honoring those seniors and what they've meant to our program and what they've done. And, and I think that'll be a great opportunity for us to do what I just talked about, is stay focused throughout and not let all these things that happen on the outside impact what your next play is. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.